Hey guys, Henry here from Product Creation Formula. In this video, we're going to be doing a plagiarism check with Quillbot. And we're going to be using five different places where we can go and check for plagiarism. Now, before we go ahead and do it, I just want to let you know, here at Product Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks to be able to help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews, as well as tips on how to make money online. So if that's the sort of thing that interests you, how about you smash that like button, as well as subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. Okay guys, let's go check it out. Alright guys, now in this part of the video, we're going to be having a look at several different places. Right now, we're going to be having a look at, obviously, this is Cruelbot, and we already know about that if you've watched any of these Cruelbot videos. Now we've also got over here, we've got Plagiarism Checking by Qtext. Then we also have Grammarly Plagiarism Checker. We also have Plagiarism Checker by PlagiarismDetector.net. And this other Plagiarism Detector by Small SEO Tools. And then we also have Jupli Checker. And we're going to be doing a check on all of these after we've uploaded an article in Quillbot. Now what we're going to do is we're going to grab this one over here. I'm just going to copy this. It's called Boosting Self-Esteem with Affirmations. Now I'm not going to be putting the heading in, I'm just going to be putting the main body in and we're going to go Control V. And I want to make sure that all of the spaces are taken up so as it doesn't look weird. I'm just going to pause the video while I do that. Alright, we're back. Now I know for a fact that if I was to paste this straight into any of these plagiarism checkers, it will come back as being 100% plagiarized. And we don't want that. I've already done a check on this, and we I already know that all of these will come up as 100% plagiarized. So there's no point in putting this part into it because it's already going to be considered plagiarized. So somebody has already put this into their website somewhere, or somewhere on a blog or something like that and yeah it's not cool so but what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit paraphrase and then we're going to do a little bit of tweaking of the paraphrase version of the article and then what we're going to do is we're going to change it up a bit okay so when you see the stuff in blue just here that matches this completely and identically so you go through and you look for all the ones in blue and then you change it up. Now the best part about doing a plagiarism check is once you go through, you might find there's plagiarism in say this one, but there may not be a plagiarism in this one, or there may not be in this one, or may not be in this one. So what you need to do is put it in all of them, and then it'll give you a comparison of what is plagiarized and what's not, and then you can go through and you can correct those areas to make it 100% unique until you go through all of the five sites and make them all unique. Now all of these are 100% free. So they're not free trials, they are free. And you can use them. Now there might be limitations on how often you can use them, but from what I can see, they all are free to use. And you can use them for whatever article you might want to do. So what we're going to do is go through and we're going to change some of this up. When you realize the poor self-esteem is a consequence of negative signals being received by your subconscious, it's easy to see how feeding your mind more positive messages may help. Okay, so let's go feeding. Let's change that one by left-clicking. Giving your mind your thoughts. More positive message. Let's change the positive message to positive words. Okay. Uh, that one looks okay. All right. Uh, use present tense. Okay. You don't want to say, I'll learn to love myself someday. And say, let's have a look here. Grow to embrace. Start to love. Okay, we'll go start to love myself someday. I choose to love. Okay, let's have a look for another word for choose. I love myself. How about that? I just, we'll just get rid of the choose to and just say, I love myself. 
there we are and that way it makes it present tense okay so you've now completely changed that move that away it will change that and make it less blue at a moment then as we go through you can go through the entire article and now I'm going to stop I'm just going to pause the video while I go through and finish this up all right now we're back now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy it over the top of this by just hitting the copy down here. And then we're going to be placing them all into the, the plagiarism checkers. Now I'm just going to go control V. Now I've gone through and I've removed all the ones in blue. And the ones in orange are what's been mostly changed. And as you can see quite a bit has been changed. If you want to know how much has been changed you can click on this one here and 51% has been changed but it's also been reworded so that's where the difference comes in so let's go over here now we'll scroll down here and we'll do check for plagiarism now I'm going to go over here to Grammarly I'm going to place that in here control V and then we're going to hit scanned for plagiarism and while that's thinking we'll now go over to the next one we'll scroll down to the bottom here we will now enter control V scroll down and we will now go check plagiarism let it do its checking now over here small SEO tools go down here do the same thing again and we'll go down here I am not a robot wait for it to do its thing hit check plagiarism I was thinking that's good now let's go over here to the last one and we shall paste this in here and we'll do the same thing scroll down I'm not a robot check plagiarism now what the good part about this is if you really want to make this 100% plagiarism proof when it comes up or if it comes up with any sort of area where it needs improving it'll highlight that area and you know when you go back through your article and have a look at it you'll know okay that's what I've got to change and you just muck around with it and then you paste it back in there and have a look and see whether or not it comes up as being 100% unique after that and by having these five different sites it allows you to know for sure that you have had that you've done the right thing and you're now plagiarism free so let's go and have a look at this one this one here says four percent plagiarized 96 percent unique so essentially that is unique it may not be 100 percent unique but if you scroll through you can have a look see what it says there's one okay on this particular one Say something like, I'm learning to accept my individuality and boldly express it with others. Okay, so as you can see, this one here is coming up with that particular one, and that's under point number two. So we can go back over here to paraphrase tool under point number two, and we'll have a look at that one again. Say something like, say something like I'm learning to accept my individuality so you can change this up a little bit to make it my uniqueness and boldly express let's go here change that confidently express and maybe change the word express present confidently communicate it with others there we go now if I was to get that copy it and now paste this back in here I'm just going to go back and we're going to try and paste this straight in here I'll just hit refresh the page there we are now I'm going to redo this one again and then we're going to go down and see what this is like now I'm going to hit this one and hopefully this one will come up as 100% clear now let's go over here to see what the others are doing okay so this one here is coming up with a bit more 
and as you can see use present tense first affirmation should be written in the present tense okay let's go down scroll down through whatever else is here which do you believe will be have the most influence on your subconscious repetition number four repetition so see all of that is something that can be changed it will most likely be a gradual transition so you can now go okay so these have to be changed as well so you can go back through here find these in Quillbot over here change them up now you can also go over here to Grammarly now no plagiarism found how interesting is that so this one here says no plagiarism was found and that's at Grammarly that's interesting to know we didn't find any plagiarism but found 14 writing issues that's fine yeah they can find those 14 writing issues you got plagiarism checker de plagiarism detector.net let's have a look 100% unique or 8% plagiarized it's uh, no, sorry 92% unique 8% plagiarized so you can go through here have a look say say something like I'm learning to accept my individuality and boldly express okay so as you can see that was similar to one that was previously seen and go over here and as you scroll through say something like I'm le it's exact it's found exactly the same line see if there's any other lines nope it's just that one line and if you go through here have a look at this one okay so it's still saying four percent is being plagiarized say something like I'm learning to accept my uniqueness and confidently communicate it with others okay and it is the only one that is considered there so maybe say something like it needs to be changed so we go back over here say something like you can change that to um, something such as I'm learning to accept I've learned to accept my uniqueness and confidently communicate it express it with others all right so now if we were to copy that and paste that back in here we can then see whether or not that changes anything at all close that ad just to make it easy for me to see what I'm doing okay let's now get rid of all that I'm going to now refresh the page there we go Go back up to the top here control v we've got that all fixed up now and hopefully this will have changed it enough to be able to do it and once you've done through all this and, and you've got all five of these here as as you can see it's not taking me long it's only taking me a few minutes to do this and it doesn't take much time to correct it and, and it really is very readable and this is why I love Quillbot so, so much. Another thing you can, I'll show you something quite unique about Quillbot in just a moment. Is let's say for example, you've got this word here. You see how you've got this little feather up here? Now this is, I will say, it's in the premium one. Now let's go over here. And let's go over here. Say something such as, say, now we might want to go here to there. Okay. I'm learning to accept myself. All right, so we can go back down to the next line. We go there. I'm learning to accept my individuality and boldly share it with others. You may say, I'm learning to accept. Okay, so you can even change it to that. And that will then now make that far more unique. Copy that. Now let's go back over here to plagiarism checker. And see it's still coming up as 4% and let's now change that completely go back over here we'll go grab this again making sure it is copy full text there we are text copied we'll put this back in here again go back up to the top where this goes and we can go control V and hopefully that has changed it enough to make it completely different. All right, so let that do its thing. 
I'm going to go back over here. But let's just go back at one space and see if I can get that here. There we go. Now we can just refresh the page. Look at that. Okay, we'll just highlight over the top of all this. Get rid of that. Delete all that. And we go Control V and we'll paste this new one in here. And we will just recheck the plagiarism. Okay. So we're still coming up with the same ones, uh, though I do think it will most likely be a gradual transition. Number two is no longer an issue. You can have a look through. You don't have to worry about Grammarly because we know that that's been okay. Say something like I'm learning to accept myself and you can once again just go through all of these and just keep changing up until you fix it up completely. And as you saw, it's not an issue. 92% would be considered unique. In most situations, in most circumstances, 8% really isn't considered plagiarizing. Say something like, I'm learning to accept myself, my individuality, and boldly express it with others. That could well be something somebody says, you know, when they're trying to write something down. One line, plagiarized, it's not, it doesn't mean it's plagiarized. Alright guys, that's all there is for this particular video. If you like this video, please consider smashing the like button, as well as subscribing, and hitting the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. Hey, and while you're here, why not consider sharing, and also leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of Quillbot and these plagiarism sites. By the way, these plagiarism sites are all free. So guys, enjoy and have a wonderful day. Bye for now.